today that I would just film a little scary story with some microphone scratching. So if that sounds good, then stick around. So my first, first, first scary story that I'm going to tell happened when I was about five or six years old. My grandmother used to really like going antique shopping. not been played with 
for a long time and, um, you know, the logical part of me wants to think that, that maybe there was like rubber bands or something that was, was holding her together and that me cleaning her and changing the clothes and all of those things that, that maybe that that caused something to, um, break inside of her and that's why. to 
walk to the gate, believing that she was really there, if she would have faded away. She didn't fade away until I realized that, that they didn't see her. So, and looking back, my, my explanation of that, that like, you know, my brain wants to kind of rationalize what happened there, is that possibly, um, at this time, I wasn't wearing contact lenses, and, like, my vision is not that bad, but I do need, um, I do need contacts, and this was, like, shortly before that I went and got my eyes tested for the contacts, so part of me just wants to believe that it was just my eyes playing tricks on me, and that that's what happened, but there's also always the possibility that maybe it was a ghost. the only two times that this has happened to me. It's been like 15 years now since, since I've ever seen anything, so I don't want you to think that I'm always seeing dead people. But, um, this time I was, I was about 14, so I was, I was in high school. I was in my, my childhood bedroom. the hike, neither one of them gave me like 